Alrighty, folks, I am back after an entire month off. I have been traveling a ton for all the different events. Uh, so it's been quite a blast traveling for as much as I have. Um, did pretty well in Atlanta. Did not do well as much as I wanted to in Indy. Um, then looks like I'm going to be able to stream tonight. And I'll have two videos or three videos up from tonight. And then I'm going to have to take like another... <laughs> About another month off, I uh, I have uh, a, a tournament next week, then I get the Invitational, then I get Columbus, then we get the Energy Trios. So uh, I'll see if I can do some stuff in the weekdays, because uh, my class seems pretty simple and pretty easy this time, so not bad at all. I'll uh, see what I can do. Um, but we'll just take it all in stride, and I'll stream as much as I can as we go on. So let's jump right into it. Uh, I've got four color copycat here because I did switch the format of the Invitational from Standard to Pioneer. So we're going to try out the copycat list. Uh, let me go ahead and update Stream Decker for us, and then we're going to just get right into it. Um, as far as the list goes, uh, four Aether Hubs, four Botanicals, two breeding, uh, four Breeding Pools, three Inspiring Vantage. Uh, one island, one stomping grounds, and three temple gardens and a yellow black coast. Uh, the interaction we do have, uh, as far as instant speed, is going to be our wild slashes. We've got two of those. We've got a bunch of mana dorks. We've got three mystics, two land or elves, four goose, and then four Ulthanissa. Heart of Kiran as well. A uh, solid beater, defender, and we can uh, like we get free tick ups all the time. So it is pretty sweet. Um, and then we've got reflector mages. Uh, and uh, Rogue re uh, Refiners and the Felder Gardens as our other creatures. Now, we pack a ton of three-drop Planeswalkers that we hoped to drop on turn two. We've got four Tefris, four Sahilis, four Okos. They are amazing. We're going to be super-powered. Um, and just go from there. So let's jump right into it. We've got an updated on-stream Decker. And I have played this deck to a 5-0 finish already. This deck is pretty sweet in my opinion. I'm very excited about it. Um, it's one of my top choices right now for uh, the SCG Invitational. This is an awesome hand if we had lands, which we don't, so it's gone. This hand's also not good. We don't have the ability to cast our stuff. Okay, we'll keep this one. Hmm. I'm tempted to ship Breeding Pool and Sahili. Keep Oko and Hardikron and see if that gets us there. For shipping that Sahili. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Draw a combo off the top. Okay. Oh crap. I clicked the wrong land, so we're going to have to shock ourselves and play this heart. So we shouldn't be taking damage right now, but my misclick makes us take damage. Resolve. Okay. We didn't want to resolve that anyway. Bunch of haters. Why don't we run out our cat and bounce this either head? Get another energy. Let's 
So our team has been doing pretty well, if you guys didn't see this. Um, we had some pretty awesome finishes. Our uh, One of our teammates, uh, Noah uh, Heisinger, took down the Chicagoland Regionals, which was fantastic. Um, and then that same weekend, Andrew Wolfeis took down the NRG 5K, uh, which was pretty sweet. Um, in Atlanta, I was able to get the t uh, a 12th place finish, missed top eight by one match. That was a bit of a bummer, but not bad. I'm not mad about it, but just kind of wish I would have done better. Yesterday at the IQ, uh, we had two players in our top eight for the IQ, myself and Danny Peterson, and then Danny ended up taking down the tournament, which is really cool because now he's also qualified for the Invitational. So we have myself uh, qualified, and then we have. Uh, we have myself qualified, and then we also have Danny, and then um, my teammate Nick and Jeff are going, but they're not going to be doing the tournament at this time because they're not queued. And then we have uh, Noah also queued. So we've got three of us queued, and we've got a good group of us heading down. So I'm very excited to see where that's going to go. Going against the Simic Nexus deck. Still learning all these decks. Oko, Oko. Cool. That will let us. We'll just bounce that. Oh. Or. We'll just combo. No big deal. Yeah. Opponent untapped. So we're going to get there. All right, I want to bring in these Mystical Disputes. I want to bring in this Veil. I wouldn't mind bringing in these as well. And then this. Go a little bit grindier here. I don't think we want the Devouts. They're not going to be useful. Rest in peace. I don't think as well. That slows down the you know dig through times, but I don't think that's worth it. Uh, I don't know if we really need the Night of Autumns, um, and they're not really creature centric. So I'm cool with cutting the Reflector Mages. I don't think we're gonna need these Wild Slashes. And I think I'm gonna trim one Elf and one Felidar. Let's try that. My list that I 5-0'd with uh, was a little bit different if anyone's interested in that. I snagged it for one of the 5-0 lists um, f that was dropped from the online leagues, but so nothing you, crazy. This list is very similar. It did run two brazen bar, uh, one bar brazen bar and one once upon a time. I ended up swapping that for two brazen borrowers, but I was pretty happy with this list. This list ends up dropping both brazen borrowers for an additional, um, this is sweet. Um, for an additional Rogue Refiner and uh, Reflector Mage. Turn to Oko into a Felidar, and, and if we can get another Red Source, we can drop the Chandra. I dig it. We got the other Red Source. We're really good at this. So rude. It's gonna run out. It's a cat boy.
feeling my opponent's looking for land. I'm only going to swing with the Felidar. Because I can create some extra food here, dropping the goose. Shocking ourselves. Blink our Felidar, yes. And then we'll blink our Goose. Yeah, yeah, we got all the food now. Give them a little emblem. Or we can untap and activate another Chandra effect. I bet it's going to be for all the turns they're going to try to take. Tick up. Start the extra turn stiff. 
It's gonna be pretty hard for them to kill us though with two Chandra emblems on them already. They can counteract that with Oko Sacks. That's unfortunate for us. They have to do that every turn, though. They can't win yet. Mm -mm. Things are looking worse and worse for us. Pretty sure our opponent just beats us at this point because the Oko getting more life per turn than. And they're going pretty deep every turn. They're digging like 8 cards at the very minimum. 9, 10, 11 cards that they want. And they're just gonna uh, start beating us with 33s. So this is pretty much over. I'm just gonna concede here, let's go to the next game. Alrighty. The Knight of Autumns for Wild Reclamations. Maybe we don't need the Heart of Karans. And we'll trim another door. Or trim a door again. Yeah. Time Traveler. Time Traveler will be sweet to land on them. Yeah. We'll get this.
Let's get a rut. Tough free down, lock out there. Counter spells. Healy, drop a goose, tick up, bottom that, pass it over. Ho ho ho, something for us to blow up, huh? Take an echo. Definitely we'll take a tracker. Things are not looking good for our opponent. See if we can keep it up and wrap this game up. Really don't know what they could do. We're gonna be on three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten next turn, exactly. Shock on. Yeah, that's good. Woot woot, starting to league off strong with a 2-1. This deck is so good at that mid-range style and then having that inevitable combo on it. I love it. Love it. See if I love it enough to run into Envy though. Maybe it was better to run at the dork, but if they leveled that up just once, it's out of our range to kill it with uh, the wild slash. But drop an oath. What goodies we can find. Take a Sahili, drop this. Yield. Drop a goose. And 
and drop another mystic. I did grow a beard. Thanks for noticing. Ooh, we've got the cat combo. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, blink this, kill them. Sweet. All right, so we want to clear the board, and I think we'll want to bring in the devout decrees as well. Maybe the veil for, but I think we're gonna hold off for now. So I'm still learning how to sideboard on these kind of things. Curious if I want to cut the Teferis here, because they're just on a more aggressive plan and they're going to be going pretty wide, pretty fast. And then maybe trimming one Oath and then one Mystic here. Jeffrey can bounce their creatures and whatnot. Obviously, it can bounce ours too, but curious if uh, that's the only part of it that's relevant. And at that point, is what we're bringing in more relevant? They are down to five. Bodes well for us. Goodbye, Oko. Oh, really? Interesting. All right, let's run out the Aether Hub. That way we can hold the uh, Wild Slash. Okay. We are down to two cards, two lands, and no creatures on board. I dig it. Yeah, I've only gotten to test a few decks, so I'm hoping um, that this deck is one of the better decks. It seems to be. It's putting up some good numbers. But yeah, I think we will find out very quick what's going to work and what's not going to work because uh, it's going to be very apparent. Um, here it's skewing our testing a bit, seeing as how our opponent mulled down pretty badly. And being Abzan Aggro hasn't done anything. I think they're Abzan Aggro anyway, but... This is like my favorite play ever. It seems so stupid, but I just love this play. I just want to make dudes draw cards, get more energy. They're gonna kill it. They're gonna kill it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. I wanted to live the dream. They just. They're just killing everything. Oh boy. Well, let's get a thread off there.
Oh boy, they're dropping a rhino on us. See if we get some damage in. They shouldn't block. If they block, they're just losing their creature for no reason, so. Attacking Sahili, we can go block. Block, block. And then wild slash it. And abrupt decay. It's so rude. Okay. Well, we're gonna lose Sahili and we're gonna lose the goose. Q-Run's not bad. We gotta get a way to activate it. You can only do three damage to the board right now. That five butt on that Siege Rhino's making our life very bad. is not looking good for us. Well, we'll take the point. We gotta draw something like right now. An Oka would be good. Siege Rhino, good card. Good card. Do we want to bring in the Veils? Radiant Flame didn't seem to be able to kill anything. But that's also because they didn't draw the other portion of the stuff we saw in game one that we can kill, so. Thank you so much for joining, and yeah, I'll post this on YouTube after, uh, later tonight once I wrap up the league.
not liking these as much right now. Where are all the threats upon it? Does it just like cut out all their threats into a mid-range game plan and rip our hand apart? Next level us. Sand Charm seems pretty sweet. Let's Reflector Mage that and Offenza. And Swing. Gideon. Risky gameplay and just attack Gideon for three. It doesn't let us play Sahili, but I just had a feeling they were gonna use removal on the Reflector Mage, and then we'd get blown out if we went for the Sahili down tick on Reflector Mage. This is a pretty sweet drop for us. What's your last card, opponent? Oh, Rhino. And we draw more Sahilis. Would not be mad at a Rogue Refiner or something right now to get some energy going. They're going to ride this rhino to victory. Okay. Okay.
All right. Gonna have to take another four, go to one, and hope they don't have an Abzan charm. And then try to kill the Rhino next turn. If they have Abzan charm, we just lose. Okay. Healy won't let us do anything, so we're just gonna have to pass. Black, black, black. This only deals two damage, right? Yeah. All right, we're gonna lose our guardian, and what can we get? I gotta level that up at instant speed. Hmm. Mm mm mm. That's an aggro's not bad. Yeah, I wasn't impressed by that radiant flame at all. It just felt like we struggled to get red mana too. Yeah, I was not impressed by that card at all, Reese. So, okay, looks like we're going against them either Mono Green or Simic Ramp here. I'm a monster? How am I a monster? If only we, we got to. There isn't a one mana removal for white. No, we don't have like um, Path to Exile. Yeah, the Mono Green Devotion deck uh, is, it will be trying something very similar next. Yeah, the Heart of Kiran into Oko would have been really cool. We really need to hit a land now. Turn to Vivian. Seems good. Mm -mm -mm. Mr. Landrop, not good for us. Yeah, there's a ton of decks to pull from. Ooh, they are they are running away with this game really fast. <laughs> I'm I'm honestly pretty certain that we're just dead. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs>
Okay, I want to bring in the Knights and the Radiance. Reflector Mage seems good. So does Tefri bouncing off their dorks. Rogue Refiner, maybe. We could trim that and an Alanawar. No, probably not Alanawar. I don't want to get mana screwed with a Felidar. That's fair. Maybe we should be bringing in... Yeah, we'll try, we'll try uh, swap something out for those Chandra's next match, next round. As soon as we knock them out here. Hmm. To Oko, their dude, I think is the way to go. do this we can wild slash their ballista to get that off the board Seems good. Exactly what I was looking for. We can Teferi bounce their Mystic and then swing at Vivian and take that out.
We'll make our knight. George, what do you think we should take off of those Chandras then? Yeah, but without the elves, like, us getting to that mana is pretty hard too, though, right? Because we only run 21 lands. The more mana dorks we cut, the harder it's going to be to get to 6 mana. Because our curve right now ends realistically at, like, 3. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. It, it it was a little relevant in our match against uh, Nexus, but they were able to outgain the life. But let's run it as is. I think we're interacting with them enough right now. All right, this is turn three kill. Oh, this isn't turn three kill, because we've got to sack the food. Because of that, should we just run out another goose and then the heart? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's my... Well, the question is, if they run out the Voracious Hydra, we, we can't really play the cat, because then they... Uh, if they don't play that, then they're just going to be able to eat one of... Uh, eat our cat. But if they play it like this, then I think we can. I imagine... Let's see if they want to kill our goose or fight something. Let me kill our goose or just double. Okay, they're going to go double. Still bad, but not terrible. Okay, sack that. 
play Felidar, blink that. And then let's just run out. Alright, as long as they don't kill the cat, we got this. Burning tree, sure. Oh man, Vivian. Goodbye, kitty cat. Vivian Hmm, that doesn't look good for us. Three three ballista. I think we just have to let it die. We can crew and block. But if we crew and block, what we block with double goose, they shoot two. Down to one. Kill off the goose. Kiran dies, tramps over for two. Sahili still dies. Hmm. I mean, it's let Sahili go. Blink their voracious Hydra to buy ourselves a turn. Seems bad, but we're gonna do it. That's not good. What is up, Lucid? Mighty bad. Yeah, Simic ramps up next. And at the rate we're going, we'll be done with this league pretty quick. These legs are going real fast. With the heart, we don't really have enough to crew.
Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, this is pretty bad. I think this, we're just dead on uh, if we don't draw something relevant. I don't even know what we could draw. Yep, yeah, that's not it. Mm -mm -mm. That walking ballista pretty much just stops our combo, so that's pre that's pretty rough. against the most average 2-2, folks. Thoughtsies, how rude. get our ran mana out. I just had a follow uh, so yeah I think a follow doesn't tell me where where it's at. If you just followed me, I appreciate it. I didn't see it come up though, so I apologize. There it goes. I just switched to the legacy view to see it. Betty and Games, appreciate the follow. us, I swear. Unless we just draw Sahili casually. You know. Doing our thing. Killing our opponents. Alrighty. So I'm going to bring in the Devout Decree again. I am not interested in bringing in the Veil of Summers. I mean the Radiant Flames this time. I'm actually not going to bring in that either. I'm going to try the Veil of Summer. Because it seems like they're not really on the low. Um, and, uh, let's trim two of those and a guardian. Mm. So this hand's got all the dorks, and if we draw anything, we're going to just be able to play it. This is a solid strategy, I swear. 
rip my hand apart upon it. I don't even care. I've got all the redundancy. All of it. All of it. You can't thought seize me. You can't thought seize me. Look at them. Look at them trying to rip our hand apart. They didn't know it's just the same thing over and over again. Oh, and we're a professional too. Draw the tracker after they rip our hand apart. Uh, I think Thoughtseize is fine in this format with all the, like, um, like, there's still copycat and stuff like that running around, so, like, you want to be able to rip your hand, their hand apart a bit with, because of that. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. Yeah, it might just be a cyborg card. Um, I think the other problem with that is everybody, the format's all over the place still. Like, there's so many decks out there. The goose is loose. The goose is loose. They can't stop this, man. We're just going to make all these foods and gain all this life. What are they going to do? Hit us for two? We don't care. Jeffrey, I'm gonna reset that ooze. Um, do I want to shock myself? Mm, no. We are gonna throw away a bird. Could use a, a real spell any day now. Um, it doesn't. Uh, it also gains indestructible. Everything swinging at Tefri. I think we're just gonna let Tefri die. We'd have to give up quite a bit for that. And then it still wouldn't be in a point where it could uh, untap realistically and do anything, so. Okay, still drawing lands, still drawing lands, solid. Uh, we're just gonna keep making food and gaining life, I think. Yeah, the Fleece Mane's a powerhouse, man. Two mana, three, three, and can become frickin' four, four. Well, we're gonna take the damage. I appreciate all of you guys coming on out. Join me for my stream where I'm back. Okay. We can reset this ooze again. And now we can bounce off that shambling vents.
I'm not gonna block. They can monster sit if they want. Sure. I'm down. SEG is going to be pretty dope, so. Yeah, I think Vanifar or Value Town would be sweet. It's just I haven't found a version that's not trying to, like, just go combo. And, like, I don't know if the redundancy is good enough yet. Sahili or Oko? I think we're going to go Oko. You know me. I can make the cocktails. Why practice the cat deck when it's going to get banned? I don't know. I don't know if it's actually going to get banned tomorrow. Like, if it's going to get banned, I, like, th they're going to get a pretty big backlash if they were to ban it right before the SEG, uh, SEG Invitational with the fact that they just, the SEG just made this commitment to swapping it over. And then... Like, it's also just super awkward for them because they have, they're just, like, going back and forth on, like, this disaster of a format that's standard, right? Oko's gonna get hit. I think we let Oko get hit and go down to one, so that way they don't get a an additional token. And then next turn, we'll just uptick on Kalidas, turn it into a nothing. No, they're going to be doing um, quite a few of expedited um, announcements for Pioneer for the time being. They didn't actually plan for people to play it in paper for quite some time, but people are, obviously. They might not take it into account, but it'd look bad for them as a company. I, I understand they're separate uh, parties and separate companies, but it's just like the optics of it. I think we're okay with chumping here. Doesn't gain trample, right? Yeah, tomorrow I'll, I'll see. If like if they do ban cat, that's not a really big deal. That's the other reason I'm testing out Simic Ramp. And then, is it Phoenix is on my test list as well? And then I want to try out. Um, uh, I want to try out the uh, um, the Phoenix decks and then the Sultai decks. Just gonna give everybody. Hmm. Yeah.
Oh boy. On the plus side, that's a bit of a non though with the. Uh... with uh, scavenging use, so. Everything's at Oko. Fenza for sure. There's nothing for it to eat, right? Yeah. So a block like that, block here. Oh, I guess we didn't need to remove the token, right? Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I guess we do it this way. That was a bit of a mistake. If we wouldn't have removed the counter, could we could have had Oko go down to one. So I thought we were gonna have to block with Hardikir on, but we didn't. Shoulda did the math before activating. Mistakes were made. on that they would do that in response so there's no point let's make another 3-3 and try this felon our guardian out Take the Sahili Rai. Alright, so do we play it out and just uptick and protect it? Because it's better than being in our hand and they could just thought seize it, right? Because I'm guessing those cards that are just stranded in their hand are. Um, make block. Blink the Felidar to blink the Felidar. No matter what, it, yeah. So we'll just uptick here. We could blink the Reflector, but then we can't combo. So we'll just blink up, tick up. I guess I should have played the Felidar first. We could have won.
move two blocks, block that, bounce that, block that, block that. No, we're gonna do it that way. Yeah, no, let's do it that way. I don't want to lose our reflector mage in case we have to utilize it. Sure. Does our opponent know some tech we don't know about? Always yield, always yes. Yeah, yeah, we took out the average bear. All right, let's see if we can make this a positive league. Let's keep this. This hand's got potential. Are we on the play? Yeah, we're on the play. It's got so much potential. Come on, baby. Show me what you have. Give me a land. Give me a land. <laughs> Opponent, we're gonna start the Oko train. What are you gonna do? Oh, we're just gonna start the beats now. What will you do in the face of the Broco Oko? Aw, they killed it. How dare they? Thank you so much for the follow, the Ram God. Opponent's not aware that we are on the Broco train. Oh, I uh, wanted to give a shout out to, I think I have it, two players in um, SAG Atlanta uh, saw me and they were pretty awesome, I would say. They came up and talked to me a little bit about being on the, um, seeing me on the stream and everything. So I got their name written down. I got to pull it up. It's in my phone though, so it's over there. So I'll grab that in a bit after this league. But I want to give them a shout out for coming up and seeing me. It was really, uh, it's really awesome. Greatly appreciated. So okay, they just keep killing our stuff. It's fine. It's fine. They're just Mardu control. We'll just drop the thing they can't kill with Clarion. You did. <laughs> That's fair. You did. And you do like turtles.
it is a great investment for us. We have all these cards in their hand. Yeah, if I didn't deal with it, but I dealt with it. It's gone. And here he's gone. What if, do, they, do they just go get the 13 Emrakul? Like, is that all they're getting? I'm not even that afraid of that. Just chump block it. They're just going to duress us? We have, like, barely any spells in our deck to be duressed by brutality. Yeah, this deck is nuts. Ah, uh, Kai gets to take out the food if they want. Yep. And we've got this little cat combo. Alright, so we definitely want Devout. Definitely want this. I don't really know if we need anything else at this point. We might want the tireless trackers for a little bit of a grindy action, but that's pretty much it. I didn't see anything that we needed a wild slash for, and I didn't see anything that we needed a reflector mage for, so. See how wrong I am. <sighs> I'm a cat. I'm a kitty cat. And a dance, 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 and a dance, dance, dance. Yeah, for sure, it's good. I just it's just a little worse without fetches. But still solid. Ooh, gifts I'm giving. We're gonna be there um for the trivia night. So if you're gonna be there early, we'll be there for the trivia night, and then uh, we're gonna be there until Monday, so I guess I'll take us a healer. Yeah, I'm like super excited for the amount of magic I get to keep playing. It's like really awesome. Like, uh, we, okay, cool. So we'll be there. Like we're going to be getting there like right at, um, right at uh, the time the trivia is going to be starting. Uh, ooh, is that a hundred bits? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll just call you Ryan. I never know. Some people don't want their name to be known. It might be a thing, you know. We can just rid get rid of that Kaya. And restart the Sahili stuff. I think we just want to get rid of it. I, did you see that on the stream, another stream, but the, the SCG, that they just, like, stopped trying to call me by my name and just switched to Vu? <laughs> I thought that was awesome. Mm. Let's see. We can go Teferi, Bounce Oath, cast it again. Or we can just start the Oko train. I think we're just going to start the Oko train. Yeah, Vu just rolls off the tongue a little bit better than Quang or Dwee. Yeah. 
still really not sure what my opponent's doing, but let's drop this tracker. Drop a land. And drop this oath. A backup Oko, you say? You don't have to like trivia to go to the trivia night, I'll be honest with you. It's definitely something that people just do regardless and come hang out. Plus, you get to see me, and that in itself is a pretty cool thing. Trivia nerdy? We're all nerds. We're literally playing the nerdiest game out there. It's 100% about hanging out. Hanging out with your friends. It's, it's at like a great uh, brewery or bar again. Oh, I keep Love Letter in my backpack at all times. Ooh, I should buy the expansion before the convention. One, two, three, four, we don't have enough to set up protection, but we're going to go for it. Aw, oh, yeah. Uh, opponent uh, just wanted to hang out. You know, cast some spells and hang out and die. <laughs> uh, all right, let's end that video. <laughs>